So welcome to my camper and this area here is what I call my kitchen. So first I have this folding table and it acts as my countertop. And then I have my faucet which is actually an electric water pump. It's got a USB rechargeable battery, it's very easy to use and install. And the only thing I don't like about it is how loud it is when I'm using it. And then I have this foldable sink I like having in the car because it allows me to wash my face, hands, dishes, and brush my teeth anytime. So behind this table is a built-in shelf. It's designed for the third row seats. And here I just have cleaning wipes, a small toiletry basket with my toothbrush, toothpaste, Invisalign, and Kleenex. And then I have a dish soap and a hand soap, both from the brand called Method. And then under this table are two baskets. I found them both in TJ Maxx. The first one has all my dining and cooking stuff. So since I like to cook, I take along proper cookware with me, even when I go camping. Next, let's dig into my pantry basket. As you can see, it's kind of small, but it's good enough to hold some food, snacks, my coffee and creamer, some non-perishable quick meals like mac and cheese, ramen, and lastly, ingredients for cooking like oil and seasonings. So now I want to show you my cooking setup, which I only do at this very back part of the car or outside. So this folding table comes with two sets of legs that you can attach so it can go up to two feet high and then you'll be able to use it outside. And then for good ventilation, I also open most of the windows and sometimes the door closest to me. Anyway, I typically get inspired to cook, especially when there's a good view right in front of me. That's why I typically pick a spot with a good view in the campgrounds that I stay at. And lastly, just to add, most of the things that you see me use in this video are linked down below so you can check them out. Now let's go ahead and look at my power source. The one I have here is called Anchor 521 Portable Power Station. I tried to include some of the details about it in the video so you can just read it for yourself. 
Anyway, my husband got this for me, which I'm very thankful for because not only these things are not cheap, but I've also proven it to be very useful. I like that I can charge my phone multiple times a day since it's what I'm mainly using for recording and also I love that I can use my hair straightener since it's got an easy outlet. On the side of the car, I just have my garbage can and my reading nook. I also have here a small perfume and a USB rechargeable color changing light that comes with a remote that I forgot to bring. So these two gray pillows are from World Market and the white one is from TJ Maxx and then lastly the blanket is from Tuesday Morning. Now let's talk about my curtain system. So these curtains are actually kitchen valences. I bought two sets of them on Amazon, one for each side of the car. And as you can see, I'm using bungee cords to hang them and connect them together. So this may not be the most stealth and cold blocking option out there, but since I only really camp at campgrounds and I live in California, as you know, it doesn't really get that cold here, these curtains are good enough for me. So later in the video, I'll show you how I set up the rest of the curtains at night. Over here, I just have my caps and the rest of my curtains. Next here is my guitar. It's the Taylor GS Mini Koa. I got this one a few years ago and it's one of my two Taylor guitars. I take this with me because it's small enough. I never go solo camping without it and sometimes it keeps me sane when I'm alone and disconnected from everything and everybody. Here as you can see there are two bags. One is for all my gadgets like laptop, camera, tripods, chargers, and all that tech stuff. The other bag is just for my clothes. And then this is my Coleman 45 quart cooler. It may be small, but it's definitely enough for one night. I just have mostly drinks in here, a bar of my favorite chocolate, and some food I plan to cook. On this side of the car, this is where I keep my stove, picnic mat that I have not used yet, and a vacuum. And then on this side, I just have this mesh shade that is good for keeping bugs out and allowing airflow inside the car. Under the passenger seat, I have two jump starters and a first aid kit. And then over here, I have SPF 50 spray and wipes for my kids. In this middle part of the car, I have two baskets and a family size picnic mat. In the first basket, it's mostly plastic picnic wear. It's good to have for when I'm with my family. And then in this other basket, I just have extra shoes, extra socks, my hiking boots, and some bags.
so I found these clip lights at Michael's. It's 14 and a half feet long and it's powered by three AA batteries. I love that these clips also help hold my curtains, which I'll show you later. This is a $5 light up mirror that I got from Daiso. I'm not sure if you guys have that store in your area, but it's like a Japanese version of a dollar store. But yeah, this light is very helpful at night, especially when I'm brushing my teeth or washing my face. <laughs> now I'll show you how I set up my curtains at night. <laughs> 